Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Moen Smart Water Protector. Now this product is designed to be used either in conjunction with a primary Moen Flow unit or it can be used on its own as a dedicated water monitor alarm. If you already have the Flow by Moen installed within your home, this little device can actually be linked up to it and it will trigger water to shut off to your house if it gets wet. However, if you do not have the flow installed, this is still a fantastic standalone monitor that you can use to get quick notifications if there is a problem in an area that you're not constantly going to see or that can create a lot of damage, such as a water heater leaking or perhaps a bathroom upstairs that isn't utilized very often, water dripping into the sink, anything which can cause damage if it leaks but that you may not know about right away. That is where this product shines. Now, the cool thing is you don't need a plumber to install this product for you. It's DIY friendly and doesn't require any plumbing skills whatsoever. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set this up and there will be links in the description to where you can purchase your own. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't already have it, you wanna go ahead and get started by installing the Flow by Moen app onto your smartphone or tablet. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. Now with the app open, we can see my primary Flow unit and I already also have one of these sensors installed, which I've named Kitchen Sink. And as you might be able to guess, it's placed underneath my kitchen sink. Today, we're gonna go ahead and install another one. We're going to start by tapping Add Device. With that selected, we have the option of four choices, three of them being the smart water shutoff valve, one of them being the smart water detector, which is what we're using today. So click Smart Water Detector. And now we're gonna go ahead and give it a nickname. I like to title this product based on where in the home it's going to be. In this case, I'm going to set it near my water heater in the basement so that if it ever leaks, I'm gonna get notified about it right away. So I'm going to simply title this water heater. Hit next. And now we begin the process of pairing the unit. So in order to pair this product, we're going to rotate the top portion counterclockwise. It'll then pull straight out. We'll remove the protective tab for the battery and these are CR123A batteries. So when you need to replace them, that's what you'll wanna order. With that tab removed, you'll see that we have a flashing blue light. That's exactly what we're looking for in the app. So we'll go ahead and check the first option, which is to turn the device cover and open it. And then the second option, letting it know the light is on and blinking blue. We'll now hit next. It's going to connect to the device. This may take just a moment. With the device connected, we're now going to hook it up onto our Wi-Fi. We'll start by turning Wi-Fi onto the phone if yours is not already turned on, and we will then select the flow detector. The numbers and letters which follow yours might look a little bit different than mine. Now that it's connected, we will go back to the app and allow it to complete its firmware update. With the firmware update complete, we are going to transition back to our Wi-Fi. We'll select our Wi-Fi from the list and insert the password. It will now update the network settings. This part may take a moment. We'll allow it to connect to device if prompted. Pairing complete. We hit next. And in my case, I do have the primary flow unit installed. I'm going to toggle on the feature to allow it to shut water off to the home in the event that it ever gets wet. We have a few options that it can notify us on, including humidity range, temperature range, and low battery warning. And you can customize these to have them set exactly how you want it. I'm going to leave the default settings as they are. If you have Alexa, you can add the Alexa skill. I don't, so I'll be hitting not now. And as you can see, we now have water heater loaded up in the app. The next step is simply to set the detector into position. There are a few ways that we can do this. We'll start by reinstalling the top section, simply match it up and rotate clockwise. Installation is very easy. So you have a couple of options. What I generally like to do at my house is simply remove the back plate and you'll see that we have three little sensors. You simply then set this onto the ground and if water ever comes in contact with those sensors, it will activate notifying you, making a noise, letting you know that there is a problem. And if you have the primary flow unit as I do, and you've chosen to set it as such, it'll go ahead and turn water off to your home in the event of the leak. Now, in some cases, this unit is a little bit too large to go where you want it to. So what you'll do is reinstall the back plate, simply pop it on, and you'll see that we have a hole here where you can plug in the little attachment it comes with. So you plug that in, and now you have a sensor on a four foot wire. This sensor is much smaller and it can go into many tight spaces such as underneath a dishwasher, washing machine, refrigerator, appliances, or if you have any other tight spots where there's plumbing accessible, but you don't quite have room for the detector. You can simply set the detector on the ground or use the reverse sticky pad or screw to lock it into a vertical position. You then take your little sensor and set it where you'd like it to go. And that's it. 
Installation complete. This little product is a fantastic way to mitigate water damage to your home. Even if you don't have the primary flow unit, it's a wonderful way to be quickly notified of leaks and areas that you might not otherwise see them, hopefully turning a potential disaster into nothing more than a minor inconvenience. There will be links in the video description where you can purchase this product. These are affiliate links, which simply means that if you place an order, I receive a small commission at no additional charge to you. If you choose to do so, thank you so much for your support. If not, that's quite all right. I'm glad you're here watching the video and I hope to see you on the next one. If this video has been helpful, leave it a like and consider subscribing for more money saving tips. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.